Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Quilling Lady and I hope you have absolutely wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use your nesting dice to create three matching projects. As you can see, we're going to create that beautiful hanging element, cut and also a matching box. For all my three projects today, I'm going to use digital collection designed by Marta Dembicka called Drop of Sunshine number three. And I left the link in the description down below for Craft Stash where you can get that collection. If you buy the whole bundle, you also get extra DL size beautiful design papers for very quick cuts. And what's really good about this collection, it has lots of elements to fussy cut, including beautiful floral arrangements, also leaves and lots of labels with sentiments, which match beautiful background papers. But what's also really good about this collection, it also has some beautiful frames where you can put your own sentiments and customize every single project you create. And I really encourage you to do it if you have this collection. And again, I left the link and I also left the links to other products I use. So if you're interested, use my affiliate links because that helps my channel a lot. For all those projects today, as you can see, the papers are really good. And I decided to use nestables, um, stars, nesting dice, and I absolutely love it. And I'm going to use 300 GSM white stamping card and also gold mirror card to create all my elements. This background paper is just so beautiful and I thought it will be very beautiful for a very handmade and special gift for a teaching assistant. I got a request so why not? As you can see I put some marks on my stars because if you do it then they will be evenly spaced and if you have this nesting die set I hope you use my trick because this way they will be beautifully put together and it's always a good idea to use your low tack tape whenever you use any nesting dice through your die cutting machine now we've got those beautiful stars and as you can see with my pencil I wrote the word top on the back so this way I know exactly how to put all those stars together as you can see off camera I die cut loads of them for extra dimension and interest. So now I'm going to use my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, to assemble all those stars together. It was very simple and quick to do it, so whenever you have any nesting dice, you can also create those hanging elements for extra decoration. And yes, please do it because they are very special and beautiful, and you can put them on a wall, on a desk, on a shelf, wherever you want. As you can see, I also die cut the smaller star with that beautiful design paper. And using my pokey tool, I created a small hole at the top. And this way, we're going to have that beautiful hanging element. And I literally repeat the process. So I put my one and only liquid glue, magic glue, then adhere all those elements together, and then create a hole with a pokey tool. Super simple, isn't it? So if you were about to create any of those elements, what nesting dice would you use? Please let me know in the comments down below. And when this is ready, I wanted to create a very special floral element that will go in the middle of that beautiful star. And what's really good about this collection, you can use any floral elements and you can put them on Google Docs or Google Slides or even Microsoft Word and add your own sentiment. And I do encourage you to do it with your beautiful cards and then you can print it the size you want. That's what's very good about this collection. And if you haven't seen my previous video where I use nesting stars to create other projects, Check the link in the top right corner. As you can see, I've got the section of Formiron flowers I created, and that's how I store them in a transparent box. So this way I can actually see all the sizes and colors I need. And as you can see, I'm choosing the right color combo for that beautiful design paper. And I had a little bit too many for those stars, but later on, I'm going to use some more for the card. And then you have to decide where to put your formiron flowers. And I also fussy cut all those beautiful leaves that match that 
amazing background paper. And using my hot glue, I'm going to add here all those elements together. So this card, or actually the hanging element didn't take that long, but I think it is very special. And whenever you use nesting dies, it is so easy to assemble them. And if you have like five or seven, the dimension is really beautiful. And that's what makes it even more special. Also, in the description down below, I left the link to Martha's YouTube channel, Instagram, and also Facebook page. So, if you use any of her design papers, even the free ones on Buy Me A Coffee, where I left the link as well in the description down below, you can share them on that Facebook group. So, I do encourage you to do it. So, you can get some free design papers from Marta on Buy Me A Coffee website, and then you can show your beautiful makes. So, I our star is nearly finished but we need a little bit of ribbon to finish it off and as you can see I'm using that yellow because I thought it will match that gold mirror card. I wonder how often do you use hanging elements in your card making or paper crafting projects. As you can see I struggled a little bit to put a ribbon through so using my low tech tape I put it at the end and I'm going to create let's say an arrow shape or spear and this way it will be so easy to thread it through that hole. And when this is ready, we just have to make a knot and cut the excess and it will be done. Super simple. And I really think those Formiron flowers add so much to this star. Please let me know if you like this shape for any handmade gift. As you can see, I put you are amazing because that was the request for that stuff. Now let's move on and create our beautiful card. Again, I'm going to use exactly the same background paper and gold mirror card and I'm going to use six by six inches card base. And it's always a good idea to have a look which way you want to put your card together. At this point, I thought let's open it on the left hand side, but then I thought no, let's open it at the top. And just to make sure that everything is adhered properly, I'm going to use double sided tape and a little bit of liquid glue for extra special stuff. When this is ready, then you have to decide how you want to put your stars on top. And this time I die cut slightly smaller stars so they would actually fit on the card and again I put that word top on the back so I know exactly how to put those stars together. And I do wonder how often do you use nesting dice to create your own beautiful handmade projects and what is your favorite shape? Please let me know in the comments down below. To add a little bit more interest and dimension, I'm using double sided foam adhesive. It is always a good idea to use a little bit of liquid glue as well because in time the dry adhesive dries even more and we don't want that. We want our beautiful projects to last forever. And it's always a good idea to use your pokey tool to peel off the backing and then add a few more drops of liquid glue, put the star wherever you you want or any other nesting die and now I've got my sentiment on that beautiful floral frame and I really wanted all those elements to match so as you can see we already have that beautiful hanging element a card and yes we're going to create a matching box as well and this time I've got you are a star and as I said before this gift was created for a teaching assistant. She is absolutely amazing at her job and I got a request to create all those two projects. But to make them even more special, I thought let's add a box as well so we can put all the elements in the same place. And again, I'm going to use my hot glue to put all those beautiful floral elements and using those formiron flowers I think it is just perfect. I couldn't resist and I had to add some gold gems. You know me and you know how much I love them. So the card is finished and it is time to create our box. Again I'm going to use 300 GSM white stamping card and first we are going to create um, the base 
for our box. As you can see, I created a square panel and I'm going to score it at two centimeters on each side. Super quick and simple. And then you have to create those notches and literally score, burnish and fold and use your liquid glue or any other adhesive you want to put the box together. I absolutely love making matching boxes. I think they make our projects even more special. And I wonder, how often do you make boxes for your handmade gifts? Please let me know in the comments down below. And please let me know how do you make them? Do you use your nesting dice or do you use a scoring board like I did here? I'm really curious, so please, please let me know. When this is ready, I thought for the lid let's add a little bit more interest so i'm not only going to use that beautiful design paper but also the star nesting die and i thought yes let's have a look through the box because this way it will be more special and again this time i'm going to create a lid so as you can see i had to measure it from the other side of my scoring board and this one is from crafters companion it is my favorite scoring board i also have it in a3 size as well Unfortunately, it doesn't really fit when I want to record videos. That's why I have to use A4 size. But even then, you can always move your paper for bigger projects. And that is absolutely fine. Now I'm going to put that beautiful gold mirror card with amazing background paper. And that's that. Always, always use a low tack tape to adhere all those elements together because we don't want to move them through a die cutting machine. And this is very crucial because, as you can see, we created that beautiful star element. But to make the box see through, we have to cut that out. As you can see, I use my pencil to draw or trace that star. And now, I'm going to use my craft knife and a cutting mat. I also have a metal ruler that you have to keep very sturdy not to move it. And be careful whenever you use a craft knife. And this time, as you can see, I created, let's say, a frame because I thought it would be so much easier than die cutting the star and our box is nearly ready now we have to adhere a little bit of adhesive underneath and that beautiful star for that beautiful background panel again i'm going to use my one and only liquid glue magic glue as you can see i only put the glue on the outside let's say so now for the inside we have to use I always use red liner tape for acetate. However, if you have any other suggestion, please let me know in the comments down below. This red liner tape comes from Crafters Companion. It is very narrow, it's 3mm, and I think it works very well, especially when you create those beautiful boxes. I'm using my pokey tool to peel off the backing, adhere the heavyweight acetate, and our box is nearly done. We just have to adhere all those notches together using one and only liquid glue, magic glue. And what's really good about any box, use your punch use your circle punch because this way it will be so much easier to open and i do encourage you to actually use your punch before you start putting all those sides together it will really make a difference in literally any size box you create so if you have never used that circle punch maybe today is the day and i wonder how often do you use one die to create three projects if you haven't i really hope this video will inspire you to do it now you can see all the projects together side by side and i do wonder which one is your favorite do you like the box the cut or maybe the hanging element i really really wonder which one is your favorite so please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting. See you in my next video. Bye.